Hello and welcome. In this video, I will introduce Talisman, which is a wallet for Polkadot, Kusama, and all parachains, as Talisman can serve as an alternative to Polkadot Jazz wallet. Zeitgeist on their Twitter launched these two polls, asking which wallet Polkadot and Kusama community uses to interact with substrate based applications. Based on the results, Polkadot Jazz wallet is still most commonly used wallet followed by Talisman Wallet and then some third-party wallets like SubWallet and Fearless Wallet. Talisman is a new wallet for Polkadot and Kusama, which allows you to store, send and receive .ksm and also native tokens of Polkadot and Kusama parachains. Talisman is an extension for your browser, so it will be added to your browser the same way as Polkadot JS extension. Talisman is currently only supported by Google Chrome, so you can download Talisman from Chrome Web Store. Talisman is already supported by many parachain applications across Polkadot and Kusama. I have tested Talisman so far with Akala app, Karura, Astar, Bifrost, Darwinia, Parallel Hypo app and also with Singular NFT Marketplace. Talisman works the similar way as Polkadot JS extension. After downloading Talisman extension, you will need to write down your recovery seed phrase for your Talisman wallet. Then you create one or several accounts within the wallet. Once you create an account in Talisman wallet, you have an address on Polkadot Kusama as well as on all deployed parachains. With your recovery seed phrase, you will be able to recover all your accounts created within your Talisman wallet. Now, if you create another account in your Talisman wallet, a new private key is generated and again from this new private key also a new public address on all Polkadot and Kusama parachains is created. So once you have an account, you can store your .ksm, ACA, STR and other native parachain tokens in Talisman wallet. The same as with Polkadot JS wallet, you will store your tokens on addresses which are derived from the private key which is stored in your Talisman browser extension. Besides this Talisman browser extension, about which I'm gonna talk a bit later, there is also Talisman web application which is very easy to use. This Talisman web application also allows you to connect your Polkadot JS wallet to view all your Kusama and Polkadot assets and you will also be able to see all your crowd loan contributions. So this Talisman web interface can serve as a user interface for your Polkadot JS wallet to view your assets. This interface is just another way how to nicely view all your tokens in one place, similarly to how sub ID interface works. However, from this Talisman web interface, you won't be able to transfer tokens which you hold on your Polkadot JS wallet. Now a few words about JSON files. JSON file is one of two ways how to recover your account where you hold your tokens. In case your laptop where you have your Polkadot JS wallet installed breaks or is stolen, if you have exported your account from your JS wallet by creating JSON file, you will be able to easily restore your account from this backup JSON file on any other device. Yes, you can also always restore your account using your recovery seed phrase, but assuming we all have our seed phrases very securely stored and thus are pretty hard to access, using a JSON file to restore your account is much more convenient and faster way. I will do a dedicated video about JSON files and how to use them very soon. Now, since Talisman Wallet is a substrate based wallet, it also supports JSON files, which means Talisman enables you to import your account from Polkadot JS Wallet to Talisman Wallet via JSON file. Now, let's assume I want to import my Polkadot JS account into Talisman. I click Add Account and I'll be transferred to Talisman Web App Interface. Here I click Import from Polkadot JS, Import via JSON file. Here I choose my JSON file, I enter my password for this account which I am now importing, then I click import and my account will be imported to my Talisman wallet. I have tried importing my Polkadot JS account via JSON file into Talisman and it works like a charm. Within less than 10 seconds my Polkadot JS account was imported to Talisman with all parachain addresses and with all my tokens. So now after importing to Talisman, I am able to access and transfer my tokens from this account Cryptozilla from both Polkadot JS wallet as well as in Talisman wallet. Talisman is now supported by many Polkadot and Kusama applications. If you have both Polkadot JS wallet and Talisman wallet installed in your browser, which I think is not a good idea, you need to select which wallet you wish to connect to the app. Let me show you that on this Astar app. 
If I connect to Astar using my Talisman wallet, I will only see my accounts within Talisman and my accounts from Polkadot.js wallet won't be visible. Singular NFT Marketplace is now also supporting Talisman. Here on Singular click connect, from supported wallets select Talisman and then you select your Talisman account. Now token transfers from Talisman. To be able to transfer tokens from Talisman, first I need to log in to Talisman wallet using my password. So there is one password for the whole Talisman wallet and for all accounts within it, unlike Polkadot.js wallet where you can have a different password for each account. Now that I have logged in, I can see all my three accounts. If I click on this Cryptozilla account, roll up list with all my tokens appears, so only addresses holding some tokens are now shown. Let's say I want to find out what is my Polkadot address. So in this Cryptozilla account I hold 1.33 dot. Now I need to click on these three dots and then click copy address. And here is my Polkadot address. So I click on this icon and my Polkadot address is copied to clipboard. And I can also search the address by entering token. So for example ASTR. And again, I click on the icon to copy a star address. Now, whenever you are on some substrate-based web application, up here you can see whether your Talisman wallet is connected to the app. So now on Akala app, my Talisman wallet is not connected. So I click on not connected and select account which I want to connect to this Akala app. Remember, if you have both Polkadot.js and Talisman wallet installed, first you will have to disconnect your Polkadot.js wallet so that you can connect your Talisman. To transfer tokens from my Talisman account, I click on these three horizontal lines and then I click send funds. Then this Talisman web user interface will be open and from here I can send my tokens. Here I can also change the account from which I want to send the tokens. So I select the account and again click send icon. Here I select which token I wish to transfer. Here I add how many. Here again I can select from which account and here is the recipient address. I can either transfer KSM to one of my other two accounts or I can add a different recipient KSM address. Then I click check, piece and review. By clicking on this button I am not sending the tokens yet. I will still have a chance to review the transaction in the next step. So here I review the transaction, the sending amount from my test account to my Cryptozilla account. So this is the sender address and this is the recipient address. The transaction should take less than 2 minutes and here is the transaction fee. Then I click approve and that's basically it. In my opinion, sending funds from Talisman is much more intuitive than sending tokens from Polkadot.js portal. It requires less steps and the UI of Talisman wallet is much more user friendly. Now important thing, note that once you are logged in your Talisman wallet with your password, you won't have to confirm each transaction separately with your password, as is the case with Polkadot.js wallet. It is very convenient, but this comes with a slight risk. If someone gets hold of your laptop, the only barrier that prevents them from transferring your funds held in Talisman is your password, so after you are done using your Talisman wallet, I would recommend always make sure to lock your talisman by clicking on these three horizontal lines and then click lock. Once talisman is locked, you will have to add your password again to be able to view your accounts and transfer tokens. So in this aspect, talisman works exactly the same as Metamask. I've made this video because I've noticed talisman has been lately getting more attention from the Tsama community. Personally, for now, I hold just a few tokens on Talisman so that I can play with the wallet and understand how it works. Transferring a few tokens on several parachains to your Talisman wallet might be the best way how to get more familiar with this wallet. Maybe later, Talisman will become number one browser wallet for the community and will replace Polkadot.js wallet. It is a well-known fact that a user-friendly wallet with a nice UX and UI is something that is terribly missing in Dotsama ecosystem. Still, my personal preference is to store DOT, KSM and Parachain tokens on Ledger. Unfortunately, Ledger still does not support most of Polkadot and Kusama parachains. Let me know what you think about Talisman and if you are already using it in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching and bye bye.